Here we are again, another fucking podcast. Happy Thanksgiving. I live to see another Thanksgiving doing this podcast. <sighs> what was last year's episode? I don't, even know. I don't fucking know. Probably the same topic. Nah, nah, brah, nah. So how it goes, bro. So in this mug is oh my, my PSA of my favorite drink for the holiday season. It's apple cider with rum. It's the greatest thing ever. It makes you feel festive as fuck. Throw a cinnamon stick in there, or a real fresh organic cranberry. Fuck up your life. Ooh, some apple slices. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Of course. Ah, it's Christmas all over again. Don't just skip over Thanksgiving like that. Well, when they watch this, it'll be Thanksgiving, and I'm already in the zone. I've been having fall decor since September, so I'm ready. Now I just Fucking need that tree. Ready. Yeah, and you're gonna go and walk. Life. We're gonna go. We're gonna drive to Home Depot, and then you're gonna walk home with the tree. That's our tradition now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna walk with that tree home. Get my hair put on. I've never I'm seen a sexier thing than a man in a tank top with bulging muscles carrying home a tree. Ooh, then you're gonna have some problems because I'm neither man nor muscles. You're all of the above. <laughs> but okay. I will have a tree, so you, you will have, have the tree. Okay, we're talking about meeting each other's families for the first time and how not to fuck it up. Ooh, Alexis. Because I'm a master, master class with Alexis right now. Well, I'm just saying, I am very, like, in life in general, I'm very, how do I word this? Uh-huh. I can mingle, but I can't, I can, I can blend in very well. Alexis knows how to thrive in crowds if she wants to. Yeah, if I. <laughs> if she's in the mood. If I want to, I could also ruin a fucking life. I can ruin a party. She's I done can this. Bring down the tone. I can ruin people's lives, make them cry. So, very nice to meet. I to meet a man with a starfish. That man was me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just. I, I, I can't hold back. I'm either like, yes, best day ever, or I'm either like, you want to fucking get cut, bitch? Do you want to die? Me. So first impressions, um, I you know, it happens over the holiday season. I think you met my whole family the first time, like extended family at Thanksgiving. And that was only three, four months. In the yeah, day? you met my my parents before then, um, and then I went home with you for Christmas, and that was the first time. So we had an eventful year, Month. but I think it's important to remember that first impressions matter and even though I'm a raging slut I tried to keep it together (laughs) (laughs) you guys want to be on your best behaviors I'm going to show you how even though I'm I'm a a raging raging slut slut, I am the biggest hoe bag but I will you can trust me but when you're starting to feel uneasy, like nervousness about meeting them, just remember, they're just as nervous to meet you and your partner's also fucking nervous because this is your opportunity to see, oh, what is their family dynamic? So this will help build your confidence because it's a two-way game, you know? Hey, do you treat your mom like shit? That means you're probably gonna treat me like shit. Oh, do you guys fight every fucking time? Well, then that's probably the same shit that's going to happen if we have a family. So you have to keep those things in mind. And that's how you realize, oh, I also have the upper hand in this because if I don't like the family dynamic, I can also fucking leave. Okay? So then how do you not do it the Joe way and just kind of uh, blend in? And how do you become the life of the party? Um, so you ask them for embarrassing stories because parents and family like to cut the tension with jokes. Ask them for (laughs) awkward moments. Then you compliment the mom, but not too much to the point where she's like, this bitch is trying to eat my pussy. What? (laughs) Yeah, because if you're trying too hard complimenting her, you she knows it's all fake. Yeah, it's all fake. But if you like find ways to commiserate, like for me, if they're like, oh yeah, you know, like, you know, Joe doesn't clean the toilet. I'll be like, yeah, he left a fucking train of shit <laughs> on the bathroom floor the other day. <laughs> what the Everyone's gonna be like, ha 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 ha. No, oh, this chick, she gets him. She gets Joe. <laughs> so you gotta go with the flow listen, of the family. Listen to this slut back. Yeah. My motherfucking significant other left a trail of shit. <laughs> and I sit down there and I'm like, oh. 
Yep, yep. Just go with the flow of the family, but don't push it too far, okay? Just go with the flow. Sometimes I have a hard time with going with the flow with the family. Like for me, I love sleeping. His family <laughs> will sometimes wake up earlier than me. They don't drink, and I'm hungover. Oh, no, 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 no. The first time, so that first oh, yeah. time she came for Christmas, I was like, I know how to maximize this mm -hmm. short time we're going to be with them. We'll take a red eye from mm -hmm. LA to Jersey because then you get there in the morning. Now you got the whole day, you don't lose it traveling. What is this slut bag doing? She sleeps the entire day. I needed to sleep, okay? She totally defeated the purpose. She was out cold in my bed. I was like, so that's Alexis, everyone. Well, I'm sorry. I was not ready for that red eye, and I got pretty fucking wasted on the plane, okay? Yeah. So, that's my advice, but I don't always follow my own fucking advice, either to the rest of you. So you know what she does? I dick. think I found her, her little oh. secret that gets her that definitely wins points over with people. Hmm. What I notice she does is she celebrates people really big. Of course. To win them over. No, no, I mean like most people are like- I don't do that to win them over. I'm legitimately excited okay, for okay, people's okay, lives. Okay. Fuck so, you. <laughs> so what happens is, you know, if someone was like, oh yeah, that's really cool. That's most people's response. Oh, good for you. Alexis is like, ooh, yes. I love your outfit, your makeup. On point girl. Bitch, you live your best life, whatever you got, girl. I Whereas do. everyone else is like, it's like yeah, yeah, that's cool. cool. And at first, the thing you gotta get used to doing, because it sounds easy, is you've really gotta be like animatronic and like out and about. Whereas most people, they'll probably get uncomfortable doing that because you know you really gotta be out there. You're gonna get uncomfortable because people are initially gonna look mm -hmm. at you because they don't know you and go, the fuck? They're gonna give you that look of yeah, like, they don't believe me what is first. this girl's deal? But when they get used to it, by the end of the night, they're like, this girl's a fucking riot. And I collect unique adjectives. I don't like to say, hey, have a sexy day. Oh, I don't like to say, see, I can't even do it because it's so ingrained in me. I don't like to say, hey, hope you have a great night. I like to say, oh, hope you have a sexual evening. It's the, to this day, it's the most awkward thing for me to experience. I love she uses it. it everywhere. We could be at TSA and they'll be like, Thank you for showing your passports. You guys can keep going. Have a good day. And she goes, thank you. Have a sexual evening. And the girls go, what? Yeah, what? but I, I don't say, hope you have a bomb ass pussy. Cause I'm not trying to get fucking arrested. I mean, yeah, I don't think anyone really says that. But, well, I, uh, I've thought it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it's more exciting to celebrate. I just want to celebrate everyone's wins and I want it to be Life to be more than just like, hi, hi, nice to meet you. Oh, so tell me about what you learned yesterday. Oh, that's so fucking awesome. So, blah, blah, blah. No, life is too short. If I'm gonna have like some fucking boring ass short conversation with you, no, we're gonna make it feisty. I wanna get deep. I'm gonna be like, tell me what's your favorite sex position right off oh, the uh, bat. That's what you wanna ask your, uh, uh, okay, back on topic. No, you're not gonna do that. But embarrassing stories, that helps. I don't know, what did your family think of me when they first met me? I don't even remember, they thought you were great. Do they still think that? Probably not. Yes, of course. <laughs> Anyone that can tame this beast. <laughs> so before this episode, I called my dad because I'm like, God, I need some like, you know, what did my dad look for when he was meeting Joe and was he looking for anything? And honestly, fuck. He's like, well, you know, for you, I was just mainly looking for longevity. <laughs> and I, I was like, I did that. I was like, what? And he's like, well, you know, you just kind of like kiss a guy and run away. And which is <laughs> his nice way of saying I'm a fucking whore. So thanks, Dad. I know he's watching this. He's like, well, Joe's still here, so yeah. I'm happy for that. Yeah. But then he also brought up another thing that. I think, well, specifically my family likes to see, it's this Tagalog thing called utus, which means that the guy will do what you say. So let's say you're like out of wine. You'd be like, Joe, will you get me some wine? And he should just go and get it. If my family doesn't see that, oh, they're not about it. This is it. a very big, if you happen, this is very niche. If you happen to date a Filipino girl, I'm, I can pretty much blanket statement say this. If you're dating any Filipino woman, you better I think be it's good more at that. than just Filipino women. I mean, every woman's gonna like that. But yeah. a Filipino, the Family older women, will they will hunt you that. down. And if you utus me, ooh, that's a bad sign. If you go, hey Alexis, I ran out of water, will you just grab me some real quick? Oh, they're gonna be like, what the fuck? Don't make your girlfriend get your things. Exactly. It's my choice if I'm going to get you something. Yeah, they'll say, Joseph, go get the diet coke. 
See, but I think this was one of the advantages is that we're both half Filipinos, so you have the same culture. So yeah. it's hard, like, if you have different cultures, I would say, I've dated a lot of ethnicities, okay. And uh, <laughs> my philosophy was try every flavor before you settle down oh, with one, okay? Oh, boy, Baskin mm. Robbins over here. It's exactly. Mm, probably more than that. Oh, Half Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. That's what I'm grateful for. I'm going to have the stuffing. I'm going to have the turkey, the green beans, everything. Okay. Anyways, back to the fucking point. <laughs> when you're dating other cultures, just be <clears throat> open and you... Better fucking eat every single thing they put in front of you. I don't care if you're vegan. Like, you, oh, that's going to be a bad Yeah, situation. across the board, you don't want, my parents have brought this up with former girlfriends. Not that they didn't like You've them. You've had former girlfriends? Oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> Continue. They've never liked it when it's like, even for anyone, no one, no parent likes to see the significant other who barely eats food. That's yeah. just weird. Because we know that's not how you are. Everyone's a fucking train dumpster of food that they like to eat. So. I'm just a cum dumpster. Oh my god, 21 different flavors, <laughs> slut bag, shit train, cum dumpster. I am really uplifting myself this evening. She really is. Okay, so the other things I'm going to bring up for when you meet the family is, even though this goes against all my morals, don't dress like a hoe the first few times. <laughs> Yes, that definitely helps. You, you don't need your tits out to meet the folks. You can survive. You can still look gorgeous and wear something tight or whatever. But, I mean, if it's truly yourself, like, you can ease them into that. Like, you don't need to shock them the first night. Guys, show off your muscles. Oh, my God. Don't dress like a bro either. Jesus <laughs> Christ. No cut-off shirt. Get some, you know, uh, spikes. Highlight your spikes on your hair. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a visor kind of tilted to the side. Bring a gift. Yeah, like so flowers excited. or a glass of, I mean, a bottle of wine, something. That's just common courtesy if you go to anyone's house. And plus my love language is gift giving, so yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, offer to help if it's like to help with cooking, do the dishes, um, set the table, whatever if the fuck it is. If there's a grandma there, focus Ooh, on her. focus on the grandma. That's, that's a, a good one. one. Ooh, yes, you yes, yes. You pay to the grandma and you're good to go. So this is probably for some families, some families, well, actually most, don't black out. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a given, but you know, for those of you who don't pick up on that. Hey, I, it took me a long time. I didn't black out the first few times meeting your family. It was like the third time I definitely blacked out, but it wasn't even I blacked out there. We were there for a wedding. So then I blacked out and then I was hung over the whole next day and couldn't spend time with them. Yeah. I made a big family breakfast. Your saving grace was my sister-in-law defended you. Yes. At and breakfast so, because everyone was down there and they're like, where's Alexis? And my sister-in-law was like, you know what? Just let her rest. She's just trying to recover. Let her do her thing. See, she understands drinking. You're, that's the thing with the going with the flow. Your family isn't big drinkers. I'm a big drinker. My family's big drinkers, so they would understand that. So these are the things that we need to, you know. Checks and balances. Yes. Which, it's fine with me because one of the things my dad said that he knew that he liked about you was that you're going to be my DD for life. So see, Which there you go. For this is one area I can give tips on. For those of you like me who aren't big drinkers mm -hmm. and maybe you're with a family that is big drinkers, yeah. I say you just got to own it. The biggest thing I hear from people who are in my position is they feel pressured to drink and feel like they're going to yeah. look weird if they don't. You just have to own it. It's only weird if you make it weird. Yeah. Just own and say, hey, I'm, me, I can fall, I use my career as the fallback. I'm into, my career is fitness. I'm into working out. Mm -hmm. I competed. That's why I never became a big drinker other than after college or when I was in college. But I just say it's not my thing. I don't do it a whole lot. Maybe I do it occasionally, but that's the only thing. And as long as you're not fucking silent in the corner and you're still having fun while everyone's drinking, it's not going to be an issue. Yeah. And if you keep, you can keep pouring everyone else's drink for them. They'll love that. There you go. And then yeah. you'll be like, I'll drive everyone home. Hop in my car. Let's do this thing. Toot toot. So, um, oh, and speaking of being silent, make sure you avoid fucking landmine conversations like politics. Uh, 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 uh. Sometimes I run into that issue when I'm a little getting up, browning out, almost blacking out. Um, and also religion, try to avoid that, I would say. Ooh. I think like that's never been an issue for us. I've never heard us go either of those. I mean, maybe not with our families, but I know that happens with other families. And sometimes I just like, I'm going to just stay quiet. 
or but and with friends I sometimes can with friends I've noticed your best bet is mm -hmm. to give people dare I say the almost exaggerated version of yourself like don't be who you're not be like you you like to be bougie so you over celebrate your bouginess to show like I'm this bougie bitch I don't care yes, yes. just so people know oh, like that how I Okay. Whereas if you're just like, yeah, I'm into bougie things, people are going to get this weird like, are you? Uh, I'm not getting a real... No one gets a genuine vibe off someone when you're pretending to be middle of the road. They want to see like, so. who is... Like you, you love people who are like their authentic selves. Yes, I do love that. And I think people love authenticity, so just be you, but... So that's what I mean is yeah. like, if you know who you are, figure out who you are and almost be the hyperized version of that so people will be like, all right, this is what I'm getting into versus mm -hmm. like the playing, I, again, I fall into trouble with this. The playing it safe, like, yeah. You okay, do play yes, it safe. Yes. Except you. when you chose this bitch. Oh boy, I, yeah. So this is my last word of advice. Um, as tempting as it is to go back into your childhood bedroom and bang in your twin bed, I would advise against it. Oh boy, you get and to see all her pictures of all her yeah, you, former flames. Do you really want to bang in a twin bed overlooking a photo of someone's grandma? Oh no, my gosh. no. Don't bang in the twin bed. Don't risk the family hearing you bang. And oh, well this is my personal thing. I am not a fan of PDA, so don't like make out a Thanksgiving yeah, dinner. Good. The other day I had my coworkers, both females, they were, I, refer, I referred to you as my girlfriend, not my fiance, and they're like, excuse me, she's your fiance. What's the fucking I'm difference? Like, I don't really care. You know what it is? When I say fiance. It sounds so fake. It just sounds pretentious yeah, to me. Like, like, you have to go out of your way to say, no, she's not just my girlfriend. Yeah. She's my fiance. We're getting married within the next year. Yeah. I want you to know it. Yeah. I don't, really give I don't a like shit. it either. I when keep trying. When we're married, I'll say you're my wife because that's what you are. Yeah. Fiance is like. It's I like being in like purgatory, and I don't want that. I want one or the fucking other. It's just I don't get why you have to tell people that so you can announce you're about to get married with yeah. the next year, and I have to repeat that and then you, story. And then people have to be like, "Oh, am I invited to your wedding?" I don't want that situation. It's I terrible. Just, yeah, I hate that story. Oh, where's the wedding? When is it? Yeah. Who's going? I don't need What's to know. Theme? I don't need got? to know. Sometimes I just say you're my husband in like what I'm eating like randos because then I don't have to like just be my husband. Cause I don't know, sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm too old to have a boyfriend now, but. We're just really good roommates. Yeah, basically we are. Anyways, <laughs> don't bang on your twin bed, live your best life, be your authentic self, drink some fucking rum and apple cider and get fat. Good night. There you go, enjoy. Oh, did Let you have anything else to uh, add? Let us know how it goes. Have a good holidays. Um, mm -hmm. Try one of those things and let us know how it works because I'd be curious to hear that. So. Okay. Bye-bye.